BBB here with Tommy Ward or Thomas Patrick Ward. Six and two threes. How are you doing, lad? Anyway, you alright? Yeah, Looking sharp, and I'm not too bad. You know, I'm just watching a little bit of pad work there with them, the gaffer, you know, planning. Um, just talking to you about your weekend plans now. So it's Friday afternoon, you're saying you've got pretty much Sunday off. It's about it. Sunday's my rest day, yeah. Relax, yeah. chill, and we're coming uh, ready to do a fun of a hard week back Monday. So, you know, we've got another two sessions to do the more Saturday. You know, just keep going. 28th of September is the next one, Newcastle. So, you know, look forward to a good performance, keep out, keep busy. Any opponents lined up or any uh, rumours or anything you can let us know? There's a few names there, but we'll see which one's uh, the best uh, to fight. So, um, Neil, we'll be sorted there. I'm just concentrating on myself, keep training, make sure I'm ready. And we've just had a little chat off there with Lewis about MTK and their sort of advisory role and stuff. How did that come about for you? How did you end up Fantastic. with them? I mean, the team got in touch and uh, with me and that and they all went through. And, you know, it's fantastic. It's a great move. You know, the, the fantastic, everything they're doing is, can't fault them. Perfect, you know what I mean? Being really, really nice. Um, they know the stuff, they know what they're doing, they know how to get you to the top, so, you know, trust is in them. And for those that don't know, you actually boxed down in Essex on one of their shows, how was that? So? That was fantastic, really good, like I said, um, everything was on point, you know, everything was in order, they had everything, they, they run the show properly, you know what I mean? So, uh, it was good, I liked it, enjoyed it. And I don't think we've actually spoken to you since, not formally, not in an interview anyway, since you've come back from America, obviously a massive win out there. Mm. Can we try and sum up that experience going out there? <laughs> that smile says it all, I think. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a fantastic experience going out there, uh, boxing and winning as well. So, I mean, everything about the full lot was great. We had the full team out there. There was, there was a few uh, gym spars, so a few gym wars in there. It was uh, good to watch as well. You know, and the whole experience, everything about it, the travelling, the fight, everything was a sport. It was great, fantastic. And then, as you say, back to the grind ahead of September 28th. Obviously back here in uh, is this class as yeah. Hartley Pool is this? Finally, yeah, back of Newcastle, my home, so um should be good. Looking for a bit crowd there and uh, putting on a good performance for everybody. And then obviously you fight in America was it not a final eliminator, but it was some sort of eliminator, title eliminator, yeah. wasn't it? That's putting you in a good position. Is that something you're gonna have to oh, push course, on yeah, in the next I year just, or so? I just keep fighting and keep beating everybody in front of me and the the world title fight is there and I will be coming very soon, you know what I mean? You just gotta keep running and uh, the fight will be there and eventually I will I will be crowned king and then um, I'll go on to unify the division and then uh, fight for a lot more world titles in the future. You've got any eye on any of the existing champions oh. or who <laughs> great answer. Oh, no, no, I've got my eyes on all of them, you know, uh, they're all fantastic champions, they're all good fighters, but uh, I'm there to challenge the best and beat the best, so I'm ready for anything. And you're in a bit of a unique position, if you don't mind me saying. Like you're still young, but you're very experienced, and professional, and you've got that. Like, it's almost the perfect mix. I think a lot of people probably look at your record and see maybe the lack of stoppages, and there's rumours that it was it Hernandez you thought maybe overlooked you because of that. Like, you are in like, a great position. It seems like we've obviously seen you boxing on a lot of the local shows for a long time, but would you say everything's sort of coming together or very close to doing so? It's all thanks to me. He uh, brought me up slowly, got me the experience I needed for when the when the big fights come and the time comes. That I was more than ready for them, and I proved that I was. So you know he's uh, done the job. I mean, you're probably not going to say anything else. This is over there. But you think how good is Neil for your Neil Fanning for anyone who's not sure of Tommy's trainer there? How good is it for your style and the way you like the box? Fantastic. Yeah, I mean it's not just my style. It's I think anyone who comes to Neil, I think Neil can make him a, a better fighter. You know, because I think. He gets in your head, he knows what he's talking about, and I think he can prove you bits and bobs, so, you know, he's fantastic. Well, again, like, I'll speak to Lewis there, but like, he's totally well, totally different in it, in it as a boxer you go, to look yourself. Lewis, look Lewis was there. Uh, I mean, great, good fighter, and uh, but the fan was just talking with him bits and bobs. I met him an uh, even better fighter. You know, now now he's, he was a dangerous fighter, but he's a very dangerous fighter now. You know, he, can, he can box, he can move, he can punch now, so you know, he's, he's looking at him all around park. And I look forward to him putting on the show on the 19th of October. Right. How do you see that one going? I'm not going to ask you who you think is going to win, but how do, you think, how, how do you think the fight might pan out? Uh, I think everyone will be in for a surprise in how good Lewis will be. On the night, so. Uh, I think you want to turn in and watch it. I'm going to ask you a question, I'm going to ask him later as well, but outside of this gym, who do you think maybe want to look out for in the northeast? 
Oh, listen, I've always said from the beginning, right? There's a lot, a lot of good talent over in the North East, and they just get the, the, the dog. You know, the, the big shows won't have them on for some reason, I don't know why. Um, because they won't fight their opponents, they, they'll be their way fighter, you know. They don't have new guys, they have the big show on. There's plenty of North East boys willing to fight. You know, they'll, they'll fight the matchup fighters, so they'll just get them on. And they all want the shot, they all, and they all deserve the shot. And they'll fight yeah. they've got the talent. There's loads of talent yeah. in the North East. This is and so when you've hinted that there, do you think that comes into like the politics of it? Like maybe the big promoters, because you've worked obviously on matchroom yeah, shows, I've, you've boxed I've, at Frank I've Warren. I've boxed a lot of the, the top boy shows. Um, I don't know. I think it's just whatever goes on in boxing, I don't know. It's a very hard sport. And it's at yeah, that times, and it's not just as simple as A, a B, C, is it? So you know, there's a lot that goes on, but um, you know, the fighters, the fighters are saying to themselves, all we want is a chance and to prove that we're good enough and, and showcase our skills up because they just. So, you know, I think everyone deserves that, you know, so um, if it can happen, it can. Has that been frustrating for you at all? Because we talk about your experience and how many fights you have had. Yeah. Has there been times in the past where you've wanted to move quicker and wanted that I've bigger been, opportunity? Yeah, there's loads of times where I've been frustrated and I've been saying I want this, I want that, but I mean, there's a man there, he'll tell you, he, like, it's all about taking your time, buying your time, and the chances are good. Um, and, um, it was right, you know, we, we won the British title, we won the IBF, we went out to America, we won another battle out there, we won the World Battle Eliminator, being a good fighter, you know, so just, just, we're on a steady incline, and I know that I can see the world title, we've just got to stay in top, top form, keep beating everybody, and we'll get it. Um, we've talked obviously about Neil, about MTK, how important has Phil Jeffries, Jaffa's been in your, your yeah, journey? Been there from the start, Dave Garside, I mean, Neil, Dave Garside and Phil Jeffries all been there from the start, putting on the little things, and just built, built us up, built us up, we had the right fights at the right time, the good opponents, the right step ups, you know, we handled them all, and then when we got our chances, we took them on, on the biggest stage, and, and we won, so, you know, that's all we can do, to keep moving forward, and now with MTK, They've got a major platform in the UK, they're all over the world and uh, they can deliver the best of out there and I'm, I'm sure they will, so like I said for me, it's just a case of keeping on, keeping busy, keeping on, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get the sh sh shots in enough. Nice one, and uh, just one final one before we go, there's a name on the wall I can see behind me, Martin Ward, how's Martin doing, is he alright? Yeah, Martin. Just a personal right, one yeah. from us to be honest, yeah, haven't he's, seen yeah, him in a he's while. Too bad he's doing well, yeah, he's uh, keeping good. Any hint of a comeback or is he? Uh... Uh, he's just weighing up his options at the minute, you know, he's uh, seen, seen, looking at his options, seeing what he can do and where he can go from there. And, uh, but I'm sure you'll probably see him again, yeah. Nice one. Thank you very much for your time, Tommy, and all the best, lad. Thank Cheers. You.